Running a marathon is impressive, but how about one marathon every day for a year? Meet the marathon man, Gary McKee. miles on a beautiful Saturday morning um, on which I hadn't planned on running a marathon but did anyway. Here's a little bit of context into what we were doing. So Gary McKee is a bit of a household name in West Cumbria. Um, The guy is a well-known charity fundraiser uh, and he's been doing this for a couple of years. Last year Gary ran 110 marathons in as many days and this year he's running a marathon every day of the year which is an unbelievable feat to try and wrap your head around. If you've never run a marathon or any kind of long distance, then it's difficult to really comprehend how hard it is to, to get past the 20 mile mark alone um, and, and then and then to complete a marathon. But Gary's been doing that every day this year. So Gary raises money for two charities primarily. That is Macmillan Cancer Support and Hospice at Home West Cumbria. If you go over to his Just Giving page, I'll put a link in the description below, you'll see all the details. Gary's goal this year is to raise £1 million um, across the course of the year, and he's currently sitting at around £220,000. Um, on that Just Giving page, you'll also find the details of uh, his Strava uh, and, and social media, just to prove that he's actually getting the miles in. But after having joined him for a day, I can assure you that he is he's putting all those miles in. So how does it work? Um, one of the first things that people tend to say when they hear about what Gary's doing is they'll ask, how is it possible? How, how's he physically recovering and getting through those miles? Um, does he use the same route? And, and, and a bunch of questions. So I, I joined Gary for one run today and it gave me a good idea of, of how he's approaching the challenge. So he does run the same route every single day. Um, there'll be a couple of exceptions this year. Uh, he's traveling to Manchester and, and London next week um, to get a couple of miles in. But in general, most days he runs the same route um, on a cycle track that runs right through West Cumbria, close to where he lives. Now, that some people might think that that would be more difficult to, to run the same route every single day. But as far as I can tell, it, it minimizes the amount of planning required uh, so that when Gary's getting through these miles, especially on days when he's on his own, he doesn't need to give it too much thought. He knows exactly which route he needs to run. He just goes up and down the cycle track. He knows his turnoffs. And then he, by the time he gets home, he's got his 26.2 miles in. It also helps that the views on that cycle track are extremely, um, that they're breathtaking on the right day. So as far as preparation uh, and readying himself for these runs um, goes, Gary is running a marathon every single day, and that's a massive amount of wear and tear on the body. I think it's worth noting that Gary had done 110 marathons over the course of last year as well, so it's not something that he, that's new to him. The amount of pressure it's putting on Gary's body alone is insane. I absolutely believe that his training uh, for this challenge this year was last year's challenge. Uh, he'll have had this in the back of his mind when he was completing those 110 marathons, because that's just the way he thinks. The weather in Cumbria uh, generally is pretty miserable. Um, if you've been to West Cumbria, you'll know that we, we get some of the, it's one of the wettest places in, in the nation. 
when you speak to Gary, he's really matter of fact about this kind of stuff. He doesn't seem to think much about it. it it's it's a non-negotiable, really. He's going out, so the weather doesn't matter. Uh, he's just got to get on with it. And, and regardless of what happens, he's putting one foot in front of the other. Another thing that helps Gary uh, get through these marathons is the support that he gets uh, from the community. People come out to see him. There'll be people there to set him up at the start of the, of the run. Professional photographers will come and the media and the press, but also just members of the community to say hello and, and, and set him on his way. Around the route, you'll see people, whether they're out there walking their dogs anywhere or they've, they've come out onto the route specially to see him. The support's there. People will bring snacks, water, various various things that might help him get, get those miles in. What I would say as well is that Gary and his team, because it's not just Gary, he has a team of people, uh, whether it's family or friends, supporting him, putting out boxes with water and treats and fuel uh, to help Gary and the people running with him get around the marathons. Without those, it would be really, really difficult, I think, to sustain a marathon a day over the course of an entire year. The running shoes that Gary uses are different kinds of hawkers. Um, I asked Gary about this on the route, and he's not particularly fussed about which hawkers he's wearing, as far as I can tell. Um, people do send Gary shoes, but uh, he, he's set on hawkers because he's using them for such a long time. And if it's working for you and you can run that many marathons in a pair of shoes or, or a, a brand of shoe, then I don't see why you wouldn't stick with that brand. And one of the things that really struck me on the day um, was the number of people who were there to run with Gary. Uh, I understood that there were people running in support of Gary, um, such as my, my pal Chris, who invited me along, and, and a couple of others. But when I got there at the start of the morning, I found around 20 people were outside Gary's house, ready to start the run with him. By all accounts, this is the most people that have turned up. It just happened to be a Saturday in November where the weather had settled and everything had, had lined up nicely. So we had lots of people in support of Gary. Five or six, uh, along with Gary, maybe finished the whole marathon. Uh, but that in and of itself is, is an incredible amount of support for someone. So my experience uh, and how I got involved with Gary, uh, I have been making these videos for fun. I have uh, a buddy, Chris. He has been asking me for a while to join him and Gary uh, for, one, for one of these marathons. My intention was to run the half marathon, see how I felt, maybe get a couple more miles out of it. But within a couple of miles, Chris was in my ear saying, I think you could probably manage the marathon today. Honestly, the only reason I felt so good at the 15 mile mark is because of the crack and the people there and the atmosphere and the support from uh, Gary, who was checking on me at every stop because he knew I'd never run a marathon before. Uh, everyone was just having a good time. At the halfway mark, everybody stopped at Lampless School, where Gary and his team provided people with a cup of tea, coffee, uh, uh, cakes. And, and things like that. And then Gary did a little talk explaining kind of what he was doing and, and the appreciation he had for the turnout on the day. If that's your first exposure to running, you're going to go away feeling great about it. So credit to Gary for that as well. Now, the last thing to touch on, and you probably noticed throughout this video, that I don't have lots of shots with, with my camera in Gary's face. And that's because Gary genuinely isn't the kind of person that puts himself at the center of the attention. Despite the fact that he's doing a challenge like this, he is a pretty reserved guy. I've met him a bunch of times now. He's all about the charity and doing something for the community and exposing people to running in a way that makes it appealing and exciting. And I think that's what he's doing. When you say Gary's name in Whitehaven or Cleetamua, people are just like, yeah, yeah, all right, Gary McKee. They're kind of they're used to it. But he's running a marathon every day this year. So if you do get a chance, please go and check out Gary's page. I'll put his Just Giving link below. Um, all the details are there. Have a look. See what you think. Uh, if he's impressed you enough, then, you know, please donate to the, the, the causes that he's raising money for. I'll try and run with Gary again this year. Uh, I've got to admit, it was one of the best running experiences I've had. So it would be difficult for me not to turn back up and, and have another go with him. I'll leave you with one thing Chris said on Saturday on the 25th mile. It was Chris's 71st marathon with Gary this year. 
and then we stopped for our last break and he said, I love when people accidentally run a marathon. Once I rain and chest pain 